Hello, I'm Dominique Shembury. I'm the Collections and House Officer here at The Vine. So this is The Vine. Welcome. Unfortunately, we can't open the house at the moment, but we've invited our camera crew in to do an exclusive behind-the-scenes 360-degree filming of some really lovely areas for you to enjoy. Built sometime around the 1520s by William Lord Sands, who was Lord Chamberlain for Henry VIII, intended as a great Tudor palace to welcome the king. What you can see today, though, is a lot less than what it would have been when it was first built in the 1520s. It would have been about the same size as the base court at Hampton Court and would have stretched down right into the middle of the lake that you can see today on the north front. This is the antechapel and this is the area of the house that would have been used by the servants and the lower members of the household to hear mass. This is our Tudor chapel. We've got the beautiful Tudor stools to the left and the right as you come in. And we've also got some fabulous 16th century Maiolica tiles on the floor as well that you can see around the pews and the altar. So this is a beautiful area that visitors are unfortunately never allowed to see because it is really, really fragile. It's our chapel gallery and we really are in the footsteps of history here because this is where Henry VIII would have sat to hear mass next to William Sands. So we've got uh, some beautiful original Tudor paintwork here on the left and the right hand walls and the back and the front are wonderful 18th century copies. Uh, originally it would have been a much, much larger chamber, so you've had the royalty and the lords of the manor at the front. Uh, going back and the further back you sat, the, the less important you were in the history of the household. And then right in front of us is the fabulous 16th century stained glass windows. They are on a par with those at King's College, Cambridge, so they are really, really top quality, and we are so lucky to have them. We believe they were brought here by the Sands family to protect them from the parliamentarian soldiers in the English Civil War, and a wonderful legend has it that they were packed away in crates and hidden in the fish ponds at the Vine and then taken out by the Tube family when they took over the house. This is our tomb chamber. It's not actually a tomb, it's an effigy of Chalonachute. It was created by his great-grandson, John. What he had intended to do was have his whole family buried in the tomb, but unfortunately he died before that could happen and he ended up not being buried here either, which is really sad. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful memorial to basically the whole of the Chute family from Chalonachute right down to John Chute. It takes a lot of work to look after our fabulous houses and gardens. And we've got our gardeners doing a whole lot of weeding at the moment. Work hasn't stopped while we've been closed. We've been really trying hard to maintain our good work that we've been doing. We're heading now into the Summer House Garden, which is a beautiful garden uh, named for the Summer House in the corner, which you can see. And the flower beds have been designed to replicate the roof of the Summer House, so you can sort of just get this beautiful visual example of the whole symmetry as you come through the garden. This is our walled garden, which is our kitchen garden now. And we've got our lovely, lovely wild meadow as well that's worked really well over the last couple of years and has been really good at pollinating, at attracting bees and other wildlife and insects. We have a really close relationship with a lovely charity called Thrive who come in and do all of the kitchen garden planting for us. So while we've been locked down, it's been really hard to give the gardens the attention that they normally would get. Uh, but our sweet peas are looking absolutely fabulous. They've worked really, really hard to get them looking good. So thank you very much for joining us on this little tour of the vine. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. 
We really, really couldn't continue to do the work that we do at the moment without the help of our supporters and members. So please continue to do what you do. And we're really looking forward to welcoming you back as soon as we can.